I'll just show you in this quick video to show how to change the transponder code in the uh, Mini AP. Click to spot any button, hit transponder, change the code, say you want one, two, three, four, save, and it's done. You wanna go back to VFR, hit transponder, go to code, 1200 done. Now that can be a little bit problematic if you're doing other things with the with the screen, like setting, you know, autopilot modes or whatever. The other option is to have the optional head here, which is also an altitude encoder. I'm trying to find out if I want that here or not. I mean, it would be fairly easy and out of the way. But I'm thinking about putting an intercom slash com to radio there, and uh, I think that would uh, make better use of the panel. Uh, so I might have to uh, go with this solution. Of course, there's a different different wiring this to that. Um, either way, the altitude encoder. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, it's a little dark in there. The altitude encoder would have to go away either way, uh, but this will make a, definitely a cleaner install. The wiring is gonna be different, so I gotta make up my mind. Decisions, decisions. Here's another thing of the transponder. Uh, I thought I read on uh, the GRT documentation that the link did not go from one mini to the other, but here I just activated both, and it seems uh, that the code goes through the cross uh, uh, the cross link between the two of them. So if I change, uh, uh, say the transponder code down, down here, say go two, three, four, five again, and I hit enter, I mean save, you'll see change over there as well. So see a change on both sides, and if I go up here and change it to 1200, save, it goes down on both sides. So there's some redundancy there through the cross link, which I did not uh, uh, expect. Uh, so that's one more argument about keeping the, uh, the transponder on, uh, on these boxes.